night vision, so y it's hard to, to see everything. But right. suspect's a white male. Looks like he has brown hair, um, baggy blue jeans, tennis shoes. Um, can't tell what that shirt is, but he's trying to get into cars. I'm sure someone in Glen Carbon will recognize him if they do, and you'd like to remain anonymous, give us a call at 866-371-TIPS, and we'll get that information to the police. If you want to look at this picture, it's on your website, STLRCS, Regional Crime Stoppers, STLRCS.org. Correct. All right, what else you got? St. Louis County is looking for a suspect driving a extended cab pickup truck. He um, caused a vehicle hit-and-run accident on Higgy Road and New Hampshire Avenue. He left the scene on May 18th at about 12.45 a.m. The victim was transported to the hospital in critical condition, so we are looking for this suspect who was driving an extended cab pickup truck, white in color, front end damage, and the vehicle could possibly be missing a side headlight, and that's in the Afton Southwest Precinct area of St. Louis County. Mm -hmm. What else you got? We also have in Alton, the major case was called, and the um, Madison County's attorney has issued a warrant for Cameron D. Matlock for the homicide of Darren Taylor, a 34-year-old Alton man found lying on the roadway on Union Street on May 14th at 4.30 a.m. Matlock is considered armed and dangerous. He has a million-dollar bond, mm -hmm. and they're looking for him Furiously, he's wanted for first-degree murder, armed robbery, and unlawful possession of a weapon. Police say do not approach him if you know where he is or you know of him. Give the Crime Stoppers line a call. You can remain anonymous, as always, always anonymous. And we will get that information to the police department in Alton and a major case and hopefully get this suspect off the street. There is a billboard up and a very good photo of him on our website and your website and he may possibly have changed his hair we do not know mm. but um, those are lots of long dreadlocks he's got a mustache and beard he's black male and age 25 of the 12,000 block of pearl street in alton illinois all right good to know there you go what else you got and my last one i have here is the ferguson pd are looking for this suspect that on may 22nd just this past monday robbed the u.s bank at 201 north florissant road in Ferguson. The suspect is a black male, a light beard, wearing a two-tone baseball cap from St. Louis. It's a St. Louis Cardinals cap. It looks like it's brown and red in these pictures, and these pictures are extremely mm -hmm. clear. Right. He's wearing the two-tone baseball hat. He has sunglasses. The hooded sweatshirt has a black liner in the inside the hood, you can see. Also, tennis shoes. He was not did not display a weapon and no injuries reported, but he did get away with some money. And you can see in these pictures, like I said, very clear, he's wearing rubber gloves, and he might have a little scar on his chin underneath his ear there. If you take a look at these pictures closely, I've enlarged some of them. So You know what's, you you know what's amazing? When you, she shows us these photos, mm -hmm. and she looks at these photos that I never would, I've never noticed half the things in, in these photos. She that, knows that what she to knows. look for. Like look. that scar on the yeah, guy's side of the face, I and he's know. wearing gloves and the sneakers and yeah. the, the black liner inside the hoodie. Mm -hmm. You make a pretty good police, police officer, officer after 30 years. Would, you think? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the department's glad of that. You also say, let's, let's sort of stop a crime before it happens. Uh, you also say bank robbers are, never get away with it because of the surveillance video. Between so. the police departments, the FBI, and the citizens of St. Louis, we get a lot of bank robbery arrests through the tips in Crime Stoppers. We don't personally, I'm sorry, the police departments do. Right. Mm -hmm. They make a lot of arrests in these bank robberies. All right, good. All yeah. right, so everything's online, everything's on the website. STLRCS.org. Go there, take a look at the videos and the pictures. If you've got questions, give us a call. And if you've got um, information, please give us a call. We will give you a reward if we make an arrest on your information. Up to $1,000 for felonies and up to 5000 on homicide cases. Where'd you yeah. get those great glasses? <gasps> Elegant readers. <laughs> <laughs> I was in there the other day. She was singing your praises, I right? I was just in the neighborhood yesterday. Aren't they with great glasses? <laughs> yes, yeah, they are. Great reading them. glasses. They look pretty Elisa good. Elisa Pachota, St. Louis Regional Crime Stoppers, thank you for your service and thanks for coming in. Thanks, thanks for having Lisa. me. Have a good day.